Hey guys, this is Niklas, also known as AI Honor, and we are here for an interview in Krefeld uh, at the Ultra Invitational, called in English, uh, from Take TV. And with me is Myung Wan Jo. Perfect. Also known as Alien Invasions Golden. Hey, Golden, how are you? Hey, so good. How are you? Oh, pretty decent, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Um, first of all, congratulations uh, for qualifying uh, for the WCS uh, Premier League. Yeah. Good job there. Thank you. Um, first question, uh, overall, um, how did your year start? Year start? Yeah, huh? this, this year. Um, yeah. You uh, moved to Germany, you live in the Alien Invasion team house now. Uh, what do you think? How did uh, your year start? Yeah, I retired in... November in last year, mm -hmm. and I decided to back pro pro level. Mm -hmm. Then I joined the uh, Alien Invasion because I want to play uh, many Polish tournaments and learn something like German and a uh, culture of Germany. So I decided to go here. So I'm really, it's really good life in Germany. It's pretty good. Uh, why did you decide to go back to pro gaming? Uh, I I had to, I thought I had to go military in March in this year, so I retired in last year. But when I checked after retire, that is uh, December in this year, so I mm. decided to back here. So you have to uh, to um, I don't know how to say to join military to make your military uh, what is it called? Uh, yeah, I have to join military in December yeah. nine. So in Korea, every uh, yeah. male, uh, every male, every man has to uh, go to the military yes. for two years, right? Uh, one year, ten months. One year, ten months. So uh, you can only play until then. Yep, I ha I can play until December, but I can play in military because I'm oh. I'm a, a part timer sort of, but. I don't want to play gaming. I, I don't want to play game after I mean, after joining military because yeah. I cannot earn money and I can't play anything like uh, tournaments and streaming because mm -hmm. it's illegal. It's, so I cannot play anything with games. So I will be start some study like uh, what I want to. So it's pretty good time, I guess maybe. Mm -hmm. In military. How old are you now? Uh, I'm 19. 19 years? Yes. And uh, with 19 years, you have to join military in Korea? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so, do you plan to uh, go back to pro gaming after military? Uh, I'm planning, uh, like Stefano and Toro Jane, uh, playing game with the school, like the two job, like student playing gaming like Torjen and Stefano. So I, I want to become like them. Mm -hmm. So maybe So to uh, do it for fun, play competitive but not yep. uh yeah, not, not spend too much time. Mm -hmm. Just play for fun. So uh, what your uh, uh, what are your aims uh, for this year for your StarCraft 2 career until uh, you join military? Goal. Yeah, your goals. Uh, my goal is of course win Torres and I want to learn some something like which I my which is so good for my life. Yeah. To learn for life. Yeah. To learn for life. You um, played for professional Korean teams already. You played uh, for Slayers, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And for FXO. No. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. For yes. you. For you. Oh, for you. Yeah. They were uh, FXO yeah. after, right? Um, and stuff here. What do you think about uh, the European and um, the German scene compared to Korean StarCraft 2? Uh, it's a different culture, right? In Korea team, it's so tight, like schedule is so hard on the gaming, so uh, no rest. And th I think that's why Koreans are so good at StarCraft 2. Mm. But in Germany, uh, so little expert. And I can control. Good, uh, I mean, I can have a good mind control. Mm, so yeah, uh, there is a 
different good thing yeah in each other each team yeah so so in Korea but, but I like the Germany style because it's a little relaxed relaxed pool. when I played uh, in Korea if I won games I don't I, I didn't uh, happiness because mm. it's so hard and tight and I cannot more pressure yeah to win yeah and I cannot think anything without games so. yeah. but in Germany I can't think of without games like my life and mm. my friends and my family so it's make you have made happiness. more time for yourself yeah so yeah. it makes me happiness so I like this style in Germany so do you think uh, in Korea um, the pro gamers they uh, don't have fun playing anymore yeah I think so As this is, but some gamers are still playing with fun, but uh, almost gamers are play without fun. I think that is uh, work, just mm. work. Pressure to win, yep. always play. Yeah, play for win. How much do you play in a team house in Korea, in a, in, in a uh, pro, uh, pro team that plays uh, like pro league? Uh, I never played pro league. Yeah, but uh, how, how much do they train? Uh, I don't know how much do they train, but I only know they are trained until 4 a.m. <laughs> it's so hard. So more like 10 or 10 hours a day? Or? Maybe I think over 12 hours. Oh, just gaming? Yeah. Oh, That's like a crazy brain with meltdown. Yeah. Did you uh, play 12 hours a day? Uh, even I in German team, I play like almost 12, 12 hours oh. myself. And you only play or do you watch uh, replays? Yeah, and I, uh, this is a really important thing. Uh, in last year, I think the play is only important thing because I'm a best gamer, so I don't need to learn from other gamers. Mm. But in this year, I realized I have to watch Almost every game is like mm -hmm. uh, a best players like Snoot and Hyun or Life. Yeah. So I can learn something from them. So it's why my skill is uh, up recently. Mm -hmm. So Weird and Replays are pretty good yeah. for games. And there are always new things you have to yes. watch and to yeah. learn. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you think are the best European players right now? I think Snoot. Snoot? Yes. But I always wanted to ask you, why is your English uh, so good compared to other Korean players? I think my English is not good. Just, I have a confidence. Like, I think it's not an embarrassing thing if I use a lot of wrong words. Because I'm not American and British. It's, English is uh, uh, my second language, so I don't have to, good, to be good. And mm. I don't have to be embarrassing so that's why my English isn't so good than other Korean players so it's uh, the confidence yeah ah, okay um, this interview is for bonjoa.de it's uh, an esports school especially for Starcraft 2 um, do you have any tips for new players who want to learn Starcraft 2 uh, play Protoss <laughs> Other than, other than that, yeah. Uh, when the, when the uh, okay, that's the next next question. What do you think about uh, the balance in StarCraft Two? Balance? Yeah, the balance. Uh, I think I admit that Terran is is pretty hard at this time mm -hmm. against Jurga and against Protoss. But Protoss is so uh, like alien is so impossible to beat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this one. <laughs> so I, I don't. Know, I really don't know how to beat Protoss at this time. Oh, that's uh, sad to hear from me that you think Protoss is embedded. <laughs> but um, do you think the game is not uh, the balance is not good in Starcraft Two? Okay. Did you play Boot War? Yeah. Yeah. What was uh, the balance in Boot War like? My uh, my life is Terran when I played Blood War. Ah, okay. I I admit that was uh, pretty good for Terran because 
mine with vulture is <laughs> really in bar at the mm. time. But I don't care because it's a uh, past. <laughs> so so um, um, if you take balance uh, apart, do you have any other tips for newcomers? How, what uh, should uh, the mindset be like if they want to be uh, a gamer, pro gamer? Mm, I think uh, in newbie level, uh, new, <laughs> novice, novice level, mm -hmm. in novice level, they have to practice a lot even they uh, lose many games but if you lose many games uh, even you lose many games you uh, suddenly win a lot sometime mm -hmm. so this, I think that's how to run StarCraft 2 in novice level just play a lot and watch so a lot keep on going, keep yep. on going yep. even, even them lose they are lost, losing All right. um, do you listen to music while practicing? No, I don't. I don't listen to music. Just when I really stressful, I'm hearing music during gaming. So no K-pop. Yeah, no K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I have one more question. Um, what do you think? Uh, okay, in Korea, esports is is really really big. Uh, especially Boot War has been really big. Starcraft, uh, Starcraft Two becomes bigger. Um, if you see the European scene, do you think uh, in the next maybe 10 years um, the European scene can uh, be as good as the Korean scene? Can, uh, yep, if someone try to become like that. I, I, but I think it's European esports is already big than Korea. Because mm -hmm. in Korea, just in every game like League of Legends, Counter Strike, Southern Attack, Starcraft 2, there is only one tournament each each game each game. Mm. But in Europe, there's so many tournaments in each game like Dreamhack, IEM, Asus. So I think uh, European esports is already big than Korean. So uh, you think um, there will be uh, more players also, not only more tournaments, more players that can compete. Uh, with the Koreans in the next years? Yeah, uh, of course the game skill is uh, Korean is best, but in esports scene, mm -hmm. I don't think Korea is uh, big than America scene and uh, not, not America anymore <laughs> <laughs> in European scene. All right, um, yeah, um, that's all for now. Thank you for the interview, thanks for your time. Um, do you have any shout outs or last words? I have to say once again I'll play Protoss and <laughs> Come on. Uh, learn a lot from some Pokemon's VOD and practice a lot. Then you can become pro gamer if you did choose Protoss. Wise words. Uh, maybe also to your fans and your team. Ah, oh, yep. Uh, thank you who cheered for me and thank you for my sponsor and Alien Invasion. Uh, especially my sponsor is uh, Wodek.com and Bonjade. This web. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you all. All right, guys. Uh, this was it from here for now. Uh, thanks for watching and see you on Bonjour.de. And yeah, goodbye.